In this video, we're going to see how to enable and use the Suggested Jobs feature in All Data Manage Online. Suggested Jobs allows you to build estimates and repair orders faster and easier by displaying custom jobs which are linked to predefined symptoms. To enable Suggested Jobs, we need to go to Setup, then User Options, and select General. Scroll to the bottom of the page and select Use Suggested Jobs. Then click Update. Now we need to link our symptoms in custom jobs. To do this, click Codes, then Symptoms. For more information on creating custom jobs and setting up symptoms, click the links above. To link a symptom and a custom job, click the Add icon. From this pop-up, we'll choose which custom jobs we want to be associated with this symptom. For the symptom Noisy Breaks, we'll add some of our break jobs. Click Breaks, then select the appropriate jobs. We'll choose these three and click OK. The icon now shows the number of jobs linked to this symptom. Back on the work screen, we have a customer and vehicle already selected. You'll notice that a new information tile has been added for suggested jobs. So let's see how this works. In this example, we'll start the process by adding a symptom to the document. We click Symptoms and DTCs. Then, choose the appropriate symptom from the list. For this example, we'll choose Noisy Breaks and click Done. The symptom is added here. When we save this as an estimate or repair order, the suggested jobs we have associated with this symptom are populated in the Suggested Jobs box. Here, we can see that a job for diagnosing the brake system is one of the suggested jobs. To add this job to the estimate, it's as simple as clicking the green check mark. If you use this method for adding symptoms to the document, and would prefer your symptom to be displayed in the job group, click Symptoms and DTCs to open the dialog box. Then, click the Document link. In this new box, select a job you want this symptom to be shown with and click Done. The symptom is moved to the selected job group. Another method for adding symptoms and suggested jobs is to start with the job already on the document and adding the symptom directly to the job. In this example, we've already added a job for diagnosing the starting system. To add the symptom directly to the job, click the Add Item button and select Symptoms and DTCs from the drop-down list. This opens the same dialog box as before. This time, we're going to use this field to search for the symptom. We'll enter No Start and the predefined symptoms field is filtered by all symptom titles that contain no start. We again select the appropriate one and click Done. The symptom is added directly to the job and the associated custom jobs are in the suggested jobs box. Having common symptoms linked to the jobs most commonly used to fix them saves time when creating an estimate or repair order by eliminating the need to search for an appropriate job.